everyone so i'm going to be going over how to create your slides how to add pictures and then how to explain what they mean so just to go over how to add pictures one more time we're going to press insert up at the top image and then search the web let's say i really like dogs which i do so i'm going to search pictures of dogs and i'll find one that i really really like or maybe really want I am a huge fan of Labrador Retrievers, so I'm going to take this guy here and you're just going to drag it to your computer screen and you can move it around, you can make it smaller, you can twist it, so I'm going to twist it a little this way. And then to change your name, you're going to click the name, delete, 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 and then insert your name, so Miss Tom and Aha. You need five pictures on your assignment, so I'm going to choose five pictures. I also, so insert image, search the web. I also want to be a psychologist when I grow up. So I'm going to search a picture of a psychologist and we'll put that on there as well. And I like ramen that's my favorite food so i'm going to put a picture of ramen and i need one more photo so i am going to put my favorite search the web tv show which is naruto <laughs> yeah all right so now i have five pictures on there your second task once you have a page that looks something like this is to explain what each of these pictures means. So you need to go to the second slide for this. So on the left hand corner here, you have your slide, and then you have another slide. Go ahead and put your cursor over that slide and click it. And there's a chart that opens up. It says pick five symbols and explain their meaning. So I have five symbols up on my slide and I'm gonna write what they are. So I have a bowl of ramen, I have Naruto, I have a Labrador Retriever, oops, Retriever, and I'm going to spell check that. I have a psychologist, and then I have a German Shepherd. So I just wrote down all the pictures that I just inserted on the symbol side. And then this question is asking, what does this symbol mean? So I have to explain why I like ramen, why I like Naruto, why I like Labrador Retrievers. So remember for this part, we're practicing writing complete sentences. So ramen represents who I am because my family oops, family used to make ramen for dinner when we celebrated a birthday or holiday now as an adult it reminds me of childhood so see here i said ramen represents who i am so this is a good way to start off your sentences and then explain why because my family used to make ramen for dinner when we celebrated a birthday or a holiday and now as an adult it reminds me of childhood so then i would do the same thing for naruto and i'll do one more and then i'll leave you guys to write your own sentences. So I also am a huge Naruto fan because I like the themes in the show such as courage, friendship, and resiliency. Resiliency spell check. Um, my favorite 
character is Itachi. <laughs> so here we go. Um, I explained that I'm a huge fan. I explained why I'm a huge fan because I like the themes. And then I just explained a little bit more about who my favorite character is. So you're going to go through and explain all of your symbols. Once you're done with this, you can submit your assignment. To submit your assignment, you have to go back to your project. And up at the top here, it'll have your project and a submit button. You're going to go ahead and press submit there. Once you are done with that, you are good to go on this assignment. You have submitted it before the due date, so nice job. You are to work on quill.org for the rest of the period. So quill.org looks like this. You're going to press log in and you're going to log in with your Google account. So log in with Google. And just to explain one more time, you're going to quill.org, not quill.com. So the link will be in Google Classroom if you need it. Thanks guys. Have a great day and I hope to see you on Monday.